On a Sunday afternoon, we come to join our friends Melon and Joey once again as Banana! They... Stop narrating our lives! It's creepy! What? Why do you do that anyway? I need five more hours of community service for religion class. This counts, right? Oh, hey guys. I have a question on this project I'm doing. What's Calvinism? Oh, it's when you read Calvin and Hobbes all the time. Hey, that doesn't sound so bad. I think I'll become a Calvinist then. Banana? What lies are you telling her? Strawberry, don't listen to him. Calm down, I actually have no idea what it is. Guys, not in front of the lady. Okay, you guys are really confusing me now. Does anyone really know what Calvinism is? When in doubt, Google it. Let's see, Calvinism, a Protestant theological system and an approach to the Christian life. Uh, meaning what exactly? Gosh, you're so dumb. So you know what it is then? Uh... I wonder if they have a Calvinism for dummies available at the library. Calvinism was founded by a guy named John Calvin in the 16th century. The religion is often summarized in the five points of Calvinism, being total depravity, unconditional election, limited atonement, irresistible grace, and perseverance of the saints. Calvinism is best known for its doctrines of predestination and total depravity, stressing the absolute sovereignty of God himself. And what does that mean? No, no. Banana, where the heck did you get that from? How did you do that? Uh, do what? That smart thing that you just did. Huh? I didn't say anything. Oh my gosh, a bird! Tweet, 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 tweet. Uh, what's wrong with your boyfriend? Very short attention span. So why would this Calvin guy decide to make this denomination in the first place? It started because he thought that what the church was doing with Arminianism was wrong. Anyways, what's up with those five points? The first point was total depravity, so as in, they all starve to death as a policy? That really sucks. No, this belief asserts that as a consequence of the fall of man into sin, every person in the world is enslaved to the service of sin. Basically, everyone is going to sin, no matter how hard they try, and instead of loving God, we instinctively serve ourselves. That was amazing, Joey. Oh, it's no biggie. I just read off Wikipedia. So, the second point, unconditional election, means that God will choose who he'll bring to him depending on his mercy, rather than the person's virtues themselves. In other words, it doesn't matter what you do. It'll decide from the start whether to condemn you or to save you. Hmm. And the third point, limited atonement. It says here that Jesus' sacrifice to atone for sins was certain in its accomplishment. Awesome! But only for the sins of the elect. Ooh. Oh, the fourth point is irresistible grace. That's me. Banana, please. Just no. Apparently, God saving grace is effectually applied Yay! to the elect. Ooh. And finally, the last point, perseverance of the saints. It means that those who God has called into communion with himself will continue in faith until the end. So in dumb speak, if God reaches out to someone, they won't deny him. Oh. Well guys, thanks for helping me do all this research. But there's more! Are you kidding me? Similarities and differences. How did you know that was on my criteria list? Oh, the list was in your bag. And you looked through my bag? I know some similarities. They both believe in one God, heaven, and hell, and Jesus. Good job, Melon! Here's a cookie! Yum, 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 yum. It's pretty much all the same. Except... Except what? I don't remember. It's except the point that it doesn't matter what kind of life you live, God decides from the beginning whether you're going up there or down there. Stop that, I'm going to run out of cookies. Oh, now I remember. Another difference is that total depravity thing I mentioned earlier. We instinctively serve ourselves instead of God or whatever. Man, that was too much research for the weekend. It wasn't even my homework. Tell me about it. Well, I hope this helps you out, Strawberry. You should ace this project. Oh, well, I actually already finished the project last weekend. I was just testing your knowledge. We really need to talk about this little habit of yours. Strawberry, what the hippopotamus soup was that for? Think of this as a learning experience. Besides, did you guys really have anything else to do? Video games for guys! COD! Oh please, I beat you guys all the time anyways. My house, right now, we'll settle this once and for all. Oh! oh. oh. oh.